What's up guys? Check it out, we got the dive flag up and that's because we got mini season right around the corner. So Caitlin and I, we are gonna head out right now and scout for some lobster spots. Mini season, you're not allowed to spear fish inside John Penny Camp. So that whole area you can't be in. And you also have to be more than three miles from shore. So we're south of John Penny Camp, more than three miles from shore, and that's right now where we are scouting. So I got my spear gun and right now we're just driving around looking for uh, coral heads. And then when we see some, we'll just jump on in and try to get some numbers marked. Maybe shoot something. Yeah. Bam, huge coral head. Big coral head marked. Time to jump on in. Hey, babe. Hi, what's going on? I got you a shell. Uh-huh. Thank you. What I got a you? nice little hog. Nice, Lego. Ba bam Good job. <laughs> no lobster, though. Wow. I looked under like a hundred rocks, didn't see a single lobster, but nonetheless, we got ourselves some dinner. Hogfish have to be uh, 16 inches, and it's one per person these days. Used to be 12 per person, or six per person in 12 inches, but they really tightened down on those limits. But um, he's a keeper, he's gonna be good. What do you say we end the day and uh, go to the sandbar, Caitlin? Yeah, let's go. Let's have some fun. That's a big root you got there. I don't even know what this is. I hope I was supposed to pull it out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin's doing some gardening work. Look at that big trash can she already filled up. I don't know. Wow. It's leaving out here. We're about to burn some of this wood and cook some fish on it. 
So it's the next day. The hogfish has been on ice overnight and I'm hungry. So we're gonna cook up that hogfish right now. Ooh, you see that fat bird? Where? Uh, flying around. I got a bird feeder. I put that there myself and the birds love it. All right, so check them out. There's our bad boy. And um, we're gonna cook them over a uh, wood fire. So I wanna cook them whole. All we're gonna do is gut him. Oh. Ew. Sorry. We wanna take all of his insides out and his organs and uh, his gills too. Start by grabbing his gills out. Okay, I'd say that's pretty good. He is empty. No gills, no organs. Now we'll put him in the water. We'll use a spoon to run it up and down him to get all his scales off. Just like that. But I'll be doing this underwater so they don't fly everywhere. Mm. And I got a secret tool coming out. It's real soon, probably you'll see it in the next few episodes, but it's gonna get all the scales off in a matter of seconds. Cool. And it uses water. <laughs> 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 There we have it. Check him out. No scales, no organs. He's ready to go. Put some spices on him, get the wood fire going, and we're going to cook him on up. So we did some gardening today, mainly mainly Caitlin did some gardening. And we got some brush here. We got some palm frony stuff. So we're going to use this to start a fire. And this probably doesn't taste the best to smoke a fish with. So we'll just use this to make some nice hot charcoals. And then I got me some, some mesquite wood blocks that I found laying around. They smell really good. And then this bad boy right here is the Vita Libre stove. This thing can cook using propane, charcoal, or wood, just like this. So I went ahead and got one because I thought it'd be a little fun to try something new out. Now how do we start it? <laughs> I guess we'll just shove a bunch of this stuff in there. Okay. Where's my lighter? Okay, then you think I can get a fire started? Of course. You think so? Yeah. I know you can. Thanks. I mean, I just shoved all this stuff in there. Let's see if it freaking... It's burning. It's going. This is pretty fun. I feel like I'm camping. Right? Wow. This is a great time. Ow. Oh, look at it go. It might actually start. Whoa. Yes, 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 yes. Burn. Yeah, look at it go. Every small kid's dream. Ooh, it's getting nice and toasty in there. It actually smells really good. I'm not gonna lie. This is going way better than I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> I'm just burning a bunch of like palm fronty stuff. I'm gonna let it get real nice and hot in there. And then I'll throw my hickory wood on top of that. And then we'll throw the uh, hogfish on there. Wood smoked hogfish. Mm, mm. Okay, that fire is just about hot enough. So what we're gonna do now is prepare the hogfish. Nice. I'll cut a couple lines into them. Do that to both sides. 
Now we're going to take some olive oil and uh, you, know, you just want a nice even olive oil spread on the fish. Both sides. A little on the inside. Olive oil has a great flavor and it also helps it cook properly. Now normally I would put a lemon on here or something, but I only have two seasonings. Old Bay Spicy, Miracle Blend, Spicy Creole. And we're just gonna give him a real uh, generous amount of seasoning, as a lot of it will kind of come off during this cooking process. Don't forget to do the inside also. Ooh, that's looking really good. Shazam, and the fish is done. And all I'm doing now is I'm waiting. So you can see how there's still a little smoke coming out of here. I don't want to see any smoke coming out of here because that's palm trees and stuff and that smoke isn't that enjoyable. As soon as that stops smoking, I'll add my hickory wood and then uh, throw the fish on top. If you're camping or something, I would maybe Google good smoking woods that you can find in your woods. If it's a survival situation, you probably don't care what it tastes like. <laughs> so, but I care a little bit of fla about flavor, so I'm gonna use some good wood here. See that dove? My bird feeder is bringing in all sorts of wild game. You're allowed two dove per day, but uh, I think I'm gonna let that one get a little fatter. So now it looks like we're completely burned away all the wood and we got some nice charcoals. So I'm going to add the hickory wood. Boom, ba boom, boom, whole bunch. Game time, baby. Put the lid on that. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, boys. Not sure if this is gonna fit, but. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and three one up there. That's smelling real good. I also got a corn and I'm like, how do I shove my corn into there? And then I noticed there's a back door entrance. If you want to use propane, this is where you do it. Or you could open up and shuffle your wood. You know, move your ashes around in there. Oh yeah. Perfect place to stick the corn in there. Go on, get in there, boy. Get in there, boy. That back door has a lot of uses. I think this is gonna take at least 45 minutes, at least, maybe an hour. So I'm gonna go take a shower while, uh, while the fish cooks slash smokes and Mm. Boom, I'm showered and boy does it feel good being showered after a long day out in the water. Are y'all ready to see? So it's been about an hour now. <laughs> wow. Wow. Thank you. How about a little taste test, shall we? Oh my God, it's like tender meat. Oh man, I'm gonna smell like smoke sitting here. Oh, smoke's right in my eye. <laughs> oh my God. I put a lot of spicy Creole on there. Whoo, it's got a nice kick. I mean, I like that. That's a good kick. Let's see how this skin tastes. 
Mm. Oh, so spicy. Wow. That little dove just showed my cat who's boss. All right, let's take the uh, let's take the hogfish off the grill and put it on a plate and try it inside. Now we're in air conditioning and I don't have smoke blowing in my face. I can really uh, ooh, I can sit back and enjoy this hogfish. You want a bite, Caitlin? Um, are you gonna feed it to me from here? Do you want to be on camera? No. All right, and just that's a big bite. Just put it put it all down the hatch. Mm. What do you think? It's got a little spicy Cajun on it. I mean, yeah. spicy Creole. All right, I'd say overall that was mm. real smoky. Mm hmm. It's mm. like smoky, but not too smoky. No, no, no. Mm. So, oh, what I really want to know though. How did the corn turn out? Ooh, it looks like it got a tiny burn in one corner there, which is okay. I'm actually surprised it only burned in one spot. Mmm. <laughs> you can never go wrong with corn on the cob, especially when you cook it on chunks of mesquite wood. Mm, okay, well, I'd say a successful cook. What do you say? Yeah, that's awesome. That concludes this episode. On to the next one, which we're literally gonna videotape in like 10 minutes after this episode. So make <laughs> sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button, because there's a lot more coming. Yeah, we got mini season coming up, so we got a lot of lobster videos coming, coming your way. Cheers.